In this video, we're going to look at the Face ID and Attention settings we have for the iPad and iPhone. Basically, what we can do is we can set if we want to require attention, do we need to look at our device, our iPad or iPhone, as well as if we want to make the iPad and iPhone aware that we're looking at our device. This is an accessibility option. Let's take a look at our Face ID and Attention settings we have on our iPad and iPhone. Let's go to my iPad and iPhone. Let's first look at this on the iPad. Now I mentioned in the introduction that this is an accessibility option. So what we need to do is we need to go to our settings app here. And then we go over to accessibility. So I go over here to accessibility. From here what we need to do is we need to select face ID and attention. So when I select this, you're going to see we have a few different options. On the iPad, what we're able to do is set if we want to require attention for Face ID. You're going to see that mine is turned off. Well, what is this? Well, basically, when this is turned on, the only way that the iPad will be unlocked if you have Face ID is if the iPad recognizes that you're looking at the iPad. So you need to look at it with your own eyes. So why would you want to have this on or turn this off? Why do I have this off? Well, it's just Beth and I in my house, and I don't want to always have to be looking at my iPad to open it up. This iPad is located over to my left, and sometimes I'm looking at my other devices when I'm training. So I don't want to have to always look at the iPad. So it is less secure because I don't have to look at the iPad. All it has to do is just see my face, but again, my eyes don't have to look at it. So it's going to have a little more loose settings for opening up that iPad. But also, why you may want to turn this on is someone could just take your iPad and point it at your face. Let's say you're sleeping. Someone could just take that iPad and point it at your face and then unlock it without you knowing it because you're sleeping. So if you want to have it more secure, what you're going to want to do is turn this on. If you want to have a little less secure and a little easier to open, then you can turn this off. I actually have this off on all of my devices. We also have attention aware features. What are these? Well, again, as you're using your iPad, if you are looking at the iPad, what this will do when this is turned on is it will not put the iPad to sleep. It will not dim the display. Let's say you're reading. The iPad knows that you're reading because it can see your eyes. So now what it'll do when this is turned on is it will not dim the display because it knows that you are using the iPad. So I will usually leave this on. If I'm looking at the iPad, that most likely means that I'm using it. So I don't want it to go to sleep. So that's how it works on the iPad. Well, what about the iPhone? Well, it basically works the same way. We do have one other setting. So when we go over to my iPhone, the first thing we need to do is we need to go over to our settings app. Now what we do is we go over to accessibility. We do not want to go to Face ID and passcode. That's a completely different setting. That's where we can set our passcode up and we can have our iPhone scan our face. Same thing with the iPad. What we want to do is we want to go to accessibility. What I'm talking about here are accessibility options. So now I select this and then what we do is we go up to Face ID and attention. As you can see, it's similar to the iPad. When I select this, I can set if I want to require attention for Face ID. Again, when the iPhone is locked, if I want to unlock it, do I need to be looking at it with my own eyes? If you leave this on, it's going to be more secure. If you turn this off like what I have, it's going to be less secure. We also have attention aware features. Again, if I'm using the iPhone and I'm looking at it, maybe I'm reading, I do not want it to go to sleep. So I leave this one on. With the iPhone, we do have a third option. What we can also do is have haptics on successful authentication. So when this is turned on, what it will do is it will play a haptic tap. You'll feel the phone just tap or vibrate just slightly when Face ID is successfully unlocked. It will also work when you successfully use Apple Pay or verify iTunes and App Store purchases. On my personal device, I do have this turned on. So when I go and use Apple Pay as an example, over at McDonald's. That's how we typically will pay for McDonald's. I will feel a haptic tap on the iPhone when I use my iPhone for Apple Pay because this is turned on. 
It will also play a haptic tap when I unlock my iPhone. So those are the different face ID and attention options we have with accessibility on the iPad and iPhone. Basically what we can do is we can set if we want to require attention when we unlock our iPad or iPhone and if we want to have attention aware features. Do we want the iPad or iPhone to go to sleep when we are looking at the iPad? With require attention and face ID, if you turn that off, it is going to be a little less secure. It still needs to look at your face, but you do not have to have your eyes open. And then also with the iPhone, we have haptic taps. When we successfully unlock our iPhone or use Apple Pay, as an example, what will happen is, is we'll get a haptic tap on the iPhone. We do not have this on the iPad. So those are different accessibility options we have with Face ID and attention on the iPad and iPhone.